you in. We spin you around. Five Star Rewind. Let's hit it. Time to buckle in. Hey, baby, let's go out there like a bunch of crazy dogs. Have some fun. It's time for Five Star Rewind. <laughs> Hello? Tiki and Tierney's top five games from this past weekend. I'm just about that action, boss. Here we come. It's a man's game now. Who? All right, Tiki. First up, Sunday night, big stage. Everybody watching. Unless you're watching the World Series. And Peyton silencing some critics. But how about this? The running game showing up. Third and two from the pistol. Manning turns, gives to Anderson. A hole on the left side. He pops into the secondary at the 10. Anderson at the 5. And into the end zone for the touchdown. 28-yard burst right up the middle by C.J. Anderson. He gets the touchdown, his first of the year, and it's 23-10. Denver, what a burst from C.J. Anderson for six. That's how it sounded. Kevin Kugler of the call. Westwood won sports here. And uh, listen, I mean, and we're going to get to this more extensively, but boy, Aaron Rodgers below 80 yards. Mm. I mean, everything that went down in this game, Peyton played very well. Broncos ran the ball. Rodgers looked like a scrub. I mean, he really did. Yeah, you know. Everything he didn't expect. We, we've been saying something's wrong with the Green Bay Packers for a while now. 77 yards Aaron Rodgers had and 140 total yards for the Green Bay Packers on the day. The Denver Broncos rushed for 160. They rushed for 160. Had 500 total yards of offense. C.J. Anderson finally had a 100-yard game and got into the end zone for the first time. Ronnie Hillman had two touchdowns. So this run game and solid defense, it's old school for the Denver Broncos. And Manning said, you know what? I got to get, took me some time to get comfortable in this offense. I don't got to throw for six touchdowns and 380 yards a day. They are 7-0. and They have the Colts, the Chiefs, and then the Bears. Mm. And then they face off against guess who? Bring it on. The New England Patriots. Mm-hmm. Just bugged the locker room. Final score, 24-10, 29-10. <laughs> On the uh, on the Anderson run, so that was the final score of the night, and uh, the Packers now six and one, Broncos seven and zero. Oh. Meanwhile, in the black hole, hey, make no mistake about it, the Raiders proven they belong. Car in the gun, Car gonna drop back, Jones right flat, no one to block, one on one with Demario Davis, runs right by him, makes a man miss in space, still going, he's gone. What a run by Taiwan Jones! Give it to me again, touchdown! Taiwan Jones. First the speed to get by Demario Davis, and then he was the invisible man, and they couldn't tackle him. Wow. He came out of it untouched at the 40 and walked in the end zone. That's how it sounded. That made it 28 to 6, 34 20. The final Jets, a couple of cosmetic points, but the Raiders really. From the opening snap, they just mold them. And how about this? A little side note on the Raiders, right? Who are now four and three, clearly viable, wild card, postseason, AFC. That's one of the last draft picks by Al by Al Davis. Taiwan Jones. I remember yeah. he was he loved his speed. You know, Big Al enjoy that. Wow, moment. yeah. You know, there were some deficiencies that we saw in the New York Jets defensively, which is something we didn't uh, expect. Now you could chalk it up to an emotional loss to the Patriots and then a cross country trip. But the deficiencies in tackling were glaring. You saw it on Michael Crabtree's 36-yard touchdown where he broke through two tackles, stayed on his feet, and then Taiwan Jones, who we were just talking about, made everybody in that secondary miss. Amari Cooper, he was kind of neutralized. Did Darrell Rivas shut him down, but Latavius Murphy had 113 yards and with a 28-6 to third quarter lead, I mean, it was a foregone conclusion. Geno, though, as we said, he looked okay. He brought them closer, but they're not ready right now. This 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 Jets offense with Geno Smith. You got to hope that they turn it around defensively, which is crazy to be saying about the New York Jets as they try to hold on uh, and get back into the playoff picture. I just want to circle that stat again. Amari Cooper, as Tiki said, just five catches, 46 yards, the three previous losses coming into this game. He was under 50 yards each time. The three wins, he was over 100. I think this is very good for the Raiders. They finally win without Amari Cooper going off, which is amazing. And how about this? This Jets defense, maybe it's not as good as we thought. Two straight weeks, not getting to the quarterback. First was Brady, now it's Carr. We move on to the AFC North we go. And despite being spotty all day, how about the red-headed Rocket coming up late? Dalton takes a shotgun snap. Quick throw, nice. caught by get Green. In. It in. is a yeah. touchdown! Yeah. Adriel Jeremiah Green from nine yards out. 
and the Bengals have the lead with 2.57 to go. Very ugly game at Tommy's. That time's Big Ben looked like he was 90 gimping around out there trying to extend plays. Dan Horde, Dave Lapham, Bengals Radio Network. It doesn't matter because from Cincy's point of view, they won still unblemished. Yeah. 16, uh, pardon me, 13, 16 10 the final. They take it. Yep, they are still undefeated at 7 0. The Steelers started fast in this one. And then Dan, and then. Uh, Latavion, uh, what am I forgetting? Uh, Bell got hurt. D'Angelo Williams actually filled in admirably. Right for he seven, has before. He has 7.9 yards per carry, 71 yards. But the issue, as BT mentioned, was the atrocious second half. This was the Bengals in the second half, and they won. Block field goal, two interceptions, but when it mattered, they were able to score while Big Ben threw two interceptions down the stretch. The Cincinnati Bengals scored a touchdown and a field goal and barely, barely eat by their division rival. Bengals now perfect, as we said, 7-0. Steelers four up and four down. There's two and two at Heinz Field. Big Ben 28 for 45 for 262 and the touchdown. Meanwhile, if you've been sleeping on the Rams, this guy should provide a little nudge to wake you up. Gurley back to the house. Shotgun for number five, Foles. He'll take, give the Gurley. Head of steam, 30, 35, 40. There he goes, 50. Rolling at the 40. At the 30, being chased, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Todd Gurley. 71 yards right up the middle. Uh, this guy is absolutely insane. Todd Gurley, 71 yards. That's how it's now to see Savard on the Rams radio network. And uh, 27-6, the final. We know the Niners are hapless, but you got to beat who's in front of you. St. Louis back in the mix. That's his fourth 100-yard day. He had 146, 159, 128, 133. This is old school Rams. Hand the ball off to Todd Gurley. You know, we talked about Amari Cooper winning Rookie of the Year, kind of hands down. I don't think that's happening anymore. Todd Gurley has changed the complexion of this Rams team. Now, again, this game wasn't beautiful by any means, but there were some big plays, including that 71-yard touchdown where he hit the hole quick, went untouched for 71 yards. Tavon Austin had a couple of big plays. Defense played as, as well as ever, three sacks and a safety. But the 49ers, we know they're inept. Now it's starting to get more inept. As some players are calling for the benching of Colin Kaepernick. Something is uh, amiss there, and it's mm -hmm. going to end ugly, I believe. It already is. Yeah. Clearly a riot. It's been a riot all season. Maybe a different discussion for a different day, but you have to wonder if Todd Gurley may be changing the perception of the way running backs will treat it, be treated on draft day. He has been out of his mind good. All right, most entertaining game of the day. First up, a shootout in the bayou, and uh, Eli's turn, among many. Manning pumps his right leg. Play fake to Williams. Now Manning throws one right to the end zone for Harris. Touchdown, Giants! What a catch by Dwayne Harris. 20 yards. Manning's sixth touchdown pass of the day, and the Giants are an extra point from tying it. That was a nice toss from Eli right over a couple of defenders, and Harris going out to get it 52. Uh, pardon me, that made it 42 apiece. Bob Papa, Giants Radio Network. And uh, as we know, if you watched highlights, if you watched the game, if you read, Drew Brees, as good as Eli was, Drew Brees, better. Spiller in the game to the left of Breeze. Watch him out of the backfield. Breeze back to throw. Looks, throws one over the middle, into the end zone, touchdown! C.J. Spiller. I said watch him, Giants didn't. We're an extra point away from being tied at 49. Seventh touchdown pass of the day for Drew Brees. This is a shootout. Breeze is tied an NFL record as seven touchdown pass of the day. That's how it sounded on the Giants radio network, Bob Papa, and then the singing at the end of it, the, the great Carl Banks. Yeah. This is a shootout. Yes. He's probably delirious at all that scoring. the obvious. A little defense, maybe. There absolutely was none. And for the Giants, that had everything to do with their linebacking core. Benjamin Watson. Benjamin Watson. The old Benjamin Watson, 147 yards to the tight end and a touchdown. There was so many guys running open. But ultimately, this game came down to a special team's play. Should you directional punt or should you kick for distance? The Giants chose to kick for distance with Brad Wing. And then we get a 24-yard return by Marcus Murphy and a face mask that put the Saints in position to kick the game-winning field goal, Kai Forsbath. It will be questioned whether or not they should have kicked it out of bounds, but the New York Giants are officially on the roller coaster. Bad week against Philly, no oh, good. Come from behind, you know, exciting win against the Dallas Cowboys, and then you get just heartbreaking loss while scoring 101 total points in this game to the New Orleans Saints on the road. Man, it's it's. I can't decide if I'm happy or or sad that I missed this game. I really uh, can't. Yeah, right. <laughs> For you, given your Giants roots, I would think you'd be sad because that was a 
Oh boy, defense was atrocious, and to me, there's no discussion. You must pump that ball out of bounds. The Agreed. only way you can lose is if you allow it to happen what happened. Agreed. Uh, just uh, unacceptable.